Hello! Just fighting um, English Bill here. Been farming him for a bit. Farming him and uh, the bird with no name. I actually did get a drop from the bird with no name, luckily. This guy has been no so far. Oh, never mind. I guess I, I miscalculated. I couldn't have miscalculated. Drop rates. Oof. Three seven eighty two. Yeah, it was I was I was off. I guess a couple more fights. I think. Hold on. Sixty. Be Fifty eight XP. I think. So I'll I'll fight him two more times and then get to level thirty three. I got this uh, necklace trapper's charm that drops from uh, the bird with no name. I just used some melee chaining companions. Wing Chun, Isle of Grey Tail. Trapper's Charm. It took me a long time. Probably did at least uh, at least 30 runs. Probably probably way more considering I started with about like a fourth of the way through level 32. About a fourth, maybe a third, something like that, or maybe like maybe two fifths. I have to check. That that battle gave about 30 XP for every uh, for every fight. So if I gained like 3,000 XP in total, probably did at least 50 runs of him, and then I I couldn't have done more than 20 runs of this guy because I mean this fight takes quite a bit longer. Tap him. Oh, never mind. I think uh, if you if you exhaust your epics on their turn before you have another turn, it doesn't count. I guess you could imagine it working like PvP. So each round is a set of your round and the enemy's turn. Of your turn and the, en and the enemy's turn. Ah. 
I don't know, man. I guess I would have already exhausted the, du the double tap before before my turn. I don't get how that works. People people say that the combat in this game is better than in, than it is in Wizard 101, but I think Wizard 101's combat is a lot more balanced. At least from what I remember. I don't know if they've changed it from, from the time that I played. combat can use a lot of changes. It has a lot of potential. There are plenty of issues with it in its current state. It's fun. It's fun. At, very, at, least it, at the very least it can be fun. Most of the time. for uh, Don Raphael's ghost to uh, help me find Captain Blood's lair. Lair? Lair? Lair. Lair. It's one syllable. Lair. Not layer. Oh, whatever. In order for, um, Don Raphael to help me find Captain Blood's lair. He wants me to, um... right his wrongs. Before he died, he, um... caused some trouble with his family. His adopted son... Next, El Toro, Don Rodrigo. Rodrigo. Um, fell in love with uh, his adopted sister. Well, no, I think it would actually be um, Don Rafael's biological daughter. I don't know, there are a lot of pieces of media where, like, They're, they're, it's usually a biological daughter falling in love with an adopted son. It's weird. I don't know if I really uh, like that kind of. Wow, I have. There's like no good moves. Maybe put the bomb over here. But yeah, if I hide. Oh, well, I guess I could. Um, I think I'll just hit somebody. I'll just hit him. Oh man. Um Yeah, El Toro fell in love with um his adoptive father's biological daughter, Carolina. But Don Rodrigo refused to train in the ways of El Toro because I think he was just stupid. Self-admittedly. Because, like, why would you train your adopted son in the ways of El Toro if, it's da if, you, if you know it's dangerous? You have more faith in your son than your daughter? Or are you just more protective of your daughter? What the hell is that? Did you just get a double super hit? Secret Don Rodrigo was training Carolina to be a fencer. I 
think that caused uh, Don Raphael to like leave the house or something. I don't know if he renounced his family entirely, but he just left. And then after the, after that, um, Carolina also left in defiance. Earlier, um, Don Rafael was asked by his son to, uh, you know, be able to ask Carolina's hand, hand in marriage. And Don Rafael refused, which I agree with. I think that's kind of weird. Why would you? <laughs> why would you want to be with your adopted sister? That's just kind of a media trope. in love, I guess. Carolina is actually a um, person we met earlier in Flotsam. When, uh, when I was looking for Ratbeard. She just made a sort of brief appearance. She's kind of a strange character. Um, sort of out of place. Oh yeah, level 30. Level 30? Three. Yeah. Level 33. That's what I meant. Can I actually, like, get a drop or something? I don't know. No. Yeah. I think King's Out deliberately lowers the drop rates to get people to use the second chance chest. But the, I don't think this fight even has a second chance chest. Level 33 with 1,333 health. Now, I'll just go back to Skull Island. <sighs> Old Fisheye might have something for me to train. Oh, I also uh, changed my appearance. Nothing gear-wise besides, um... For my totem, I'm actually using the same. I, got, I picked this from my bank, though, so in case I need an extra sniper shot. I'm using Trapper's Charm that gives Valor's Armor. Again, drops from Bird with No Name, the kind of final person you fight in the um, bounty hunting quest line with Rooster Cogburn. Ring is still the same. I got this mount earlier. Um, still working on training this pet. I'm using I'm using Santorana's hat still. I might change it in the future. I'll probably use Santorana's hat until I can get a pet that um, has Grant's Overwatch. Robe is still the same. I kind of desperately need a new robe and boots. But yeah, boots are just these uh, boots from the bazaar that look cool. Um, let's see. Yeah, yeah. I I really want a new robe and boots. I I was farming English Bill. Partly to try and get some kind of drop from him. It, I didn't really care which one. But probably to get his robe. Because his robe not only looks extremely cool, but also um, gives true grit. But uh, yeah, since the drop rates are... Inexplicably low. I don't know, I was trying to find a word to use, but... I've used immoral. But, oh, elusive too. I could have gotten that. Let's see, hold on. What does elusive one give? I think it just gives extra dodge, right? Or extra dodge, and 
one more movement when your health is below 50%, and then that gives plus two movement. Good. Kind of wish he messaged every time when he had something for you. That would get kind of annoying, though, so I get, I get why he didn't do that. Um, actually getting the last... Last example of... Uh, last example? I don't know. Last tier of trick shot. Next level. Which is pretty cool. Or not, not next level, next training. The power that I'm most excited to get is double tap two. That would be really handy. Oh, I'm using this Union Thunder Stick. Level 30 gun from the bazaar. Give sniper. And I believe you can. There's a weapon you can get that's that, that you can get a little bit. Well, it's 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 quite far in the future, but uh, it'll be pretty soon. That I believe has five range and gives two units of or two um, instances of sniper shot. It's an insanely good weapon that you can basically use until like level 60 or something. Um, I don't know. I'm guessing the damage for that will kind of steadily or um, gradually kind of fall off. So I'm just going to try and get the best weapon I can that has the most range just because range is really good to have. Eye patch. I'm using a uh, this one now, using uh, Master Smuggler's Mask. I guess I could show off my uh, new bunkhouse. Just bought a few extra stuff with gold. Found some stuff in the bazaar. It's not perfect, I'll probably make some additional changes in the future, but it's looking pretty good. Not as good as my uh, cabin, though. I haven't made any changes to that since I last showed it off, I think. Oh. Level 33. I can get all my companions to level 30. Oh, these are... these guys are working. I'm still kind of, uh, I, I still kind of like the whole getup I got going right now. I'll probably stick with this for a while until I can come up with something better. But, uh, yeah. I did get a few cosmetic things in the bazaar. There's also, like, this part of it. Hold on. The part by my, or it would be my left shoulder. It looks like a little bit of clipping there, but I like this outfit. Probably stick with it until I can find or come up with something better. Yeah, I don't really foresee f actually trying to farm for English Bill's jacket because. Oh man, that would take a while. Since I'm using Mighty Steed, I think I, I might just refrain from buying these rented mounts for now. I'll probably buy the horse again, like soon, once I return to Cool Ranch, just because it's, it's real fitting. But, you know, I, I like this we er, weapon. I like this, um, I like this mount. It's kind of goofy. Uh, 
Um, ooh, I did get the rose bushes as a drop from uh, English Bill. These are pretty coveted. You can rarely find them in the bazaar, but they sell for a lot. They look really nice, so I think I might actually keep them. Um, I think I got some new ship equipment. I don't know if I showed that in the recording, but it's just stuff that I find in the bazaar. I just, and, I, and whenever I find some rare or really nice ship equipment in terms of stats, I um, we didn't this sell for like twelve fifty instead of four twenty five. Eh, that's not really worth it. Anyways, what was I saying? Yeah, I just if I if I find something really good in the bazaar, I just buy it. That's what everybody does. I don't think there would be any really good weapon for me to, to get. Really common weapon. I guess these pistols, but they have less range. I really like having that extra range. It's just so useful. But I feel like most of the musketeer weapons are just pistols. At least the ones that drop in um, full range. figureheads. Kinda sucks. Rudder. I don't think I actually got a rudder for... Those are pretty bad stats, to be honest. I'm not really sure if there is a, uh... Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I... Sorry. <laughs> I'm just thinking about the next ship I'm gonna get. With the sails, whatever matters is the ability. I mean, the extra speed is kind of nice, but, um... Winter's Scythe. That was a pretty nice ability there. What I have to do for Don Raphael is I just have to set things right with um, his two children. Found his ring in the in the bottom of a lake in Scorpion Rock. Um, I have to bring that to Mustang Sally.
So the last recording I made was actually a um, farming recording. I think I put the last uh, farming live stream in that playlist. But, uh, I'll upload this one. kind of sad, but the only way to get double tap is either on a pet, or get a rank of double tap, I mean, is either on a pet or from a crown's gear. There's a crown's weapon that uh, gives it. Which kind of sucks. I wish there was a piece of gear that granted it, like, Overwatch. There is actually a piece of gear... Well, there is one. Uh, English Bill's pistols actually give a uh, rank of burst fire. But um, there is a piece of gear that so it gives a rank of burst fire, but that's much later on. Much, much later. I will say your services leave something to be desired, but I need a neutral party to do a job for me. What have you got? Captain Joshua Lee in Port Regal asked me to take some weapons from Monquistadors and snatch a Skyway map from Jose Valdez, their leader. Hmm. I'm in conflict. Jose is a loyal customer, and I can't go losing him because I'm working with the captain. <laughs> Are you up for getting weapons from Marquisadors and the Skyway map from Jose Valdez? Captain Lee will pay you upon delivery in Port Regal. Sure. You gotta help me out, pirate. Captain Lee is expecting his supplies. If you don't get on it quick, I'll lose his business. While I'm here, I might as well do a um, run of my old friend. Yes, Captain. because we'll be heading to uh, Port Regal pretty soon. Oh, the 
drop rates are pitifully low. Should do that. I don't really want to belay these guys while they're, you know, pretty close to finish. Well, not pretty close. Yeah. All right. What now? Plus, uh, plundering or whatever it's called doesn't really give that much gold, anyways. Unless you're lucky. I think there is a small chance for you, for it to give you a lot of gold. Better idea is. Um, <laughs> to have him get some nautical. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. Got him, my got him. What is it, Captain? I should put uh, random pennies back on because I switched it off for farming. But I think these are just my favorite companions to use, to be honest. Bonnie Ann, Rat Boost, and Wing Chun. Milo is really good for chaining, but he's not at his full potential yet. I guess the same could be said for Wing Chun, but he does have an extra heal. And come on, he's just he's just cooler. Milo's animations are cool. But I just like using Bonnie and Rap here to Just it's just I would, I would say that they're the golden trio. They're, they're the golden trio, you know. Might as well do another run of uh, Bobby Bones. gotten his weapon before, but not, um, you know, his hook. That little guy. Let's see. Jolly good. I'm on it. Yes, Captain. 
Captain's chain, what's that? I've gotten like three or four of his uh, blade, but no, I haven't gotten his hook. Which is, which is a shame, because the hook looks a lot cooler. What I was going to do is put these rose bushes in the attic. Put this rose bush in my attic. There we go. Yeah, I don't think the cabin has changed. Hey, how big are these? They're pretty big. Actually, I was getting quite... Uh, close to max gold, like probably 20 or probably um, 220,000 or so. That's how much I had, but now, I, now I've spent a lot of it, but I might consider buying a house pretty soon. Anyways. Put that in the attic. Get the heck out of here. there. Blank, look who we have here. I must say, I never thought to set eye on you again. What favor can I do for you today? Uh, I don't know. Honestly, don't even tell me about favors again. Mustang Sally. Haven't seen her in weeks. A little rat told me she was on to some new job. Something very secret. Rat. I like you, pirate, so this favor's on the house. Roscoe Ratso, a vile little rat in Scrimshaw, was the one who hired Sally. I'd check with him. Hmm. By the way, I hear the king and queen of Monquista want you dead. Something about getting paid a million bananas to start a civil war. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that. Scrimshaw's in Monkeeston skies, so their fleets will be gunning for you. Watch yourself. Well, that's nothing new. But, uh, see you around when I check. Still looking for Mustang Sally. I told you before, go see Roscoe Ratso in Scrimshaw. He knows where she's gone. Oh yeah. 
now training tomes are getting quite expensive. They're in multiple thousands a piece. They used to be like what? I think they're like a hundred gold or something when you're when it's when you're really early. But not anymore. But no, I have a far surplus of them. I kind of want to level all the companions up to level 35, or at least like my main ones, when I actually hit level 35. So that'll cost quite a bit. But yeah, I should probably save them up. Scrimshaw. Scrimshaw. Actually, I never really had a good thumbnail for uh, that Scrimshaw video. I wanted to get one where I actually like showed the whole thing because it's a pretty cool-looking area. It's probably one of the one of the coolest-looking areas in the game. Nah, there's no point in getting one now. that music. Oh, I guess, um... I don't know if I promoted Rodolfo on, on recording. That might have been on one of the streams. But yeah, that's... That's what happened with him. Other than that, Ratbeard is still waiting on a promotion. Ahoy! But I'll probably get that done as soon as I can. I don't know where this fella is, but he is up top. Scare away my clients. Mustang Sally? Never heard of her. Goodbye now. Why, hello there, Roscoe, me boy. I see he still has all your fingers. Good for you. That's a good tactic, Radbeard. Go after the fingers. Radbeard? I didn't see you there. Yes, I hired Sally to do a job. Very hush hush. I risk big reward. That's all I know. <laughs> Sally's boss was on a big Marquistan flagship near the Stormgate to Marquista. He might still be there. That's all I know. I see. Thanks. Pet's done. Very close to level 30. Hopefully it gets something cool. Um, it did get Dodgy 2, Grant's Dodgy 2, which isn't bad, but it got Regroup. Not Grant's Regroup. There is... I don't know if, I don't know if there's a Grant's Regroup, but the, I know there's a uh, Grant for a Group Heal. 
which is really good. I def that's something that I definitely want. But, um, it is a selfish talent, so. Or selfish power, or whatever. Flagship is right there. Good, good. Hey. <laughs> Whoa. Cortez? Hey, what's up? Lower your weapons, men. This is a friend. Little pirate. It is you. Welcome. Thanks. The war in Monquista does not go well. The noble families, cowards all, are long on promises, but short on help. I have a plan to change the game. I hired Sally to free someone from Fort Elena prison. If you find her and help her finish the job, I will pay you well. <clears throat> okay, excellent. Fort Elena, though. Fort Elena's Skyway is claimed by Marleybone. Sally thought these scurvy dog privateers could get her through the blockade. They might help you. All right. Thanks, big guy. Well, the scurvy dogs aren't really associated with Marleybone anymore. You come to me with neither Sally nor the free prisoner. Have you talked to the scurvy dogs? Maybe Gortez is uh, full of himself a little bit. I mean, his uh, his flag is, you know, his visage, and then he has the figurehead, which is his head. <laughs> I kind of forgot about this part of the game. Yeah. Ahoy there! Truce, pirate! We know better than to fight ye! Mustang Sally? Hmm... You want Captain Dan? He'll tell you all about it, up the stair to the cave! Alright, thanks. So yeah, these guys, uh, used to be enemies. What's this? Temple of Death. Okay, better get out of here. Place. Greetings, Captain. 
We meet at last. My men told me about the thwacking you gave them when you came to salvage that windstone. Yeah. Sorry about that. You're quite the pirate, aren't you? You've hunted my boys for the governor in Puerto Mico, but now I hear the monkey royals want you dead. Yeah. Long story. Mustang Sally? She's moved on to Port Regal. I had travel papers for the blockade, but she took them. I know another way you can pass. First things first. We've been cut off here for months. Bring some fish and some fresh fruit off Monkeeston's ships, and I'll help you. Agreed? Okay. Yeah, you have to fight ships in Monkeeston for this. Um... Fish and trade wind skyway. I won't leave a mark he here. Yeah. Uh, what? A mm. I'll leave a mark here for now. Yeah. So I'll need to refuel. Or yeah, I could just uh, sail there on another ship. Where are these fish? I need ten of them. I suppose I could probably, like, go to a dungeon in one case, then, maybe, instead. Yeah. Because you have to come back there, I know.
Dante fleet. What now? Let's all fight Nikita. I think there is a life fountain at that dungeon area over there. So when I'm done, I'll probably sail over there and take the dungeon route. But I still have the life fountain at Scurvy Dog. be better to leave a mark in the to actually. Getting a phone call.
your command. We'll do. Yes. Okay. Rest in peace, that guy. Yeah, I don't know if you're if you're at this level and you haven't gotten a new ship yet. I feel bad for you. Like on multiple levels, I feel bad for you. Like intellectually. That guy probably just uh, can be bothered by a new ship. I mean, come on. 
Just buy one, you lazy bum. Or maybe there's a, there are like a new player or an experienced one. And if that's the case, well then I um then I um then I am a class. Also another thing that's really frustrating about the ship combat is the constant fucking screen shake. It's gonna be a seizure. Yeah, it would be better to mark here and then go back to the uh, life fountain and scurvy dog. No, this this part of the game is kind of filler in my opinion. Um, so I, I don't know if I'll actually be able to finish this, like, whole chapter in this video, because it, it just takes that long. But, maybe, maybe. Since I'm, since I'm over-leveled the, uh, the combat, there'll be a lot of battles. Alright. I'll do... Well done. Thanks to you, we shall be scurvy dogs no more. A deal's a deal. Well, if you're scurvy dogs no more, then what'll happen to the hideout? It's kind of the whole point, right? And it'll just be the dog's hideout, right? To pass the blockade into Port Regal, you'll have to give the Royal Navy something it wants, and wants rather badly. I know just the thing. Count Brastillo de Brass calls himself the Brass Monkey. He's the best captain in the Monquista Navy, and he's destroyed many Marleybone ships. Hmm. Approach that blockade with a Brass Monkey in chains, and they'll gladly let you through. The problem is finding the Brass Monkey. Right. I'll tell you how for another favor. The creatures in the tunnels below are getting out of hand. I need you to cull their numbers. Yep. Another quest. <laughs> oh, brother. Uh, trog five troggy warriors, five troggy hunters, five mummies, five shamans. So the problem with this quest is that the enemies you get in these battles, I think, are random. Besides the mummies, they're in their separate location. It'd be much easier to finish this with uh, someone to help. Mm. 
I'll just go down and fight the creatures. And I'll definitely get a level from this. At least, at least this part of the game will give me some XP. I feel like the story almost uh, makes you overleveled. Although that might just be the side quests. Although, yeah, if you if you don't do any side quests, you'll probably be underleveled. Or exactly unleveled. I don't know. Um, you aren't finished in the tunnels. I can't blame you for going slowly. But remember that you'll never find Sally until you help us. At least this guy is actually polite. Sally is the key to the map. Remember that. Alright, alright. Not in a very advantageous position. Actually, yeah, I should probably just move. Just move, dude. Um, I think I'll just li I'll, I'll literally just move up there. Yeah. So I can't see past those stones either. I like these mummy guys. I think they're actually I think they're privateers, though. So they're kind of useless. I think they're privateers on this. They might be most good. Yeah, they're they're privateer. They're ranged privateers. That's just that's just amazing. What level? Level 25. They're probably all just gonna shoot me. So let's put a Valor's armor on myself. Honestly, move Bonnie up. No wait. past this crate, right? Dodge from uh, Wing Chun over there. Holy crap! Please go, yes. It's way easier with other players. In some instances, KI makes it like deliberately worse to solo. Although, I mean, come on, it, it is an MMO, so you should kind of expect it to be that way. I should really 
put up a uh, bear trap. I might. Pony up there. Do the, old, the classic kanji formation. Maybe they just have shit accuracy. Yeah. Well, they are privateer. In terms of accuracy, the, the worst and best would probably be mus musketeer at the top, then buccaneer, then swashbuckler, then privateer. Shamans. Well, these guys are shit. So. Yeah, yeah. Just stay right there. Is just uh, I'm put automate <laughs> automate companions on. Um, and go AFK for a little bit. I'll uh, here. How does it? Uh, At your command. How does it go? Yeah, I'll just 
stay right in the middle here. I'll give the first order. I'm on it. Yes, Captain. Be right back. Huh? <laughs> 
Sometimes you, it takes a while to get whatever you need. Watch out. Captain Dan. Lieutenant Dan. Eh, Forrest Gump is kind of overrated. It's not that great. Hot take. Not not really hot if you're if you're in the right circles, but took care of those creatures. Sorry to have drawn things on, but considering the trouncing you've given my men in the past, I figure fair's fair. A message directly from King Zhao. Yeah, that's true. You've done me and mine a great service, pirate, and I'm ready to leave our old quarrels behind us. Let's talk about the Brass Monkey. Good God. Now hold on just a minute. Sorry to have drawn things on, but considering the trouncing you've given my men in the past, I figure fair's fair. Yeah, you're right. You've done me and mine a great service, pirate, and I'm ready to leave our old quarrels behind us. Let's talk about the Brass Monkey. Okay. Oh, 
34. Heck yeah. The brass monkey? He's as tricky as a ghost and more elusive than the breeze. But his pride is his biggest weakness. Mm. Just like me. Also, um... My name also has brass in it. In the ongoing hostilities between my countrymen and Monquista, Brass has sunk a dozen Marleybone warships, the highest for any single captain. I actually don't know how good that number is. To be honest, because I don't know how the real Navy works, but the, that, that, is, that is pretty good. Go destroy ten Monquistan ships, oh. then come back here. If the brass monkey thinks his record's in danger, you can draw him out. Shit. Ten ships? Holy shit. Not as bad as 24 ships in the other quest. Head back to that marker. Imperial warship. to Aquila. Okay, that guy's higher level. I think I'll just mute myself and watch some review, bro. While I have my these ships.
to go to the bathroom. Got pretty lucky actually. Hi, Captain. Okay. Is there somebody? <laughs> All hands on deck, hold on. There's somebody. I need to I need to fight with somebody. This shit is gonna take forever. Can't believe I'm still full health. Here it goes! Here. Okay. 
Twice. I was about to die too. Kill, 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 kill. Alright, you dumbass monkey. Please do not clip that. Batten down the fucking hatches. Take on three ships at once, my guy. Feel like a coward. Here, I'll mark here instead. spawn on I guess it's kind of cool that I spawn on their ship <laughs> that he does it Does this person like have a have a brain? Can you? Okay, jeez, that was mean. Does this person? Can this person communicate? Yes or no? Ooh, ghost whale. Smart. Well done. Nice shot, lady. He's a privateer. Better use 
use that. did say something. He's got he's got respectable drip as well. Fast kind of means back up. I just love that screen shake. Is he gonna board? Whoa! Okay. Dude, this is like the fucking dreadnought. about these tokens they I think they used to talk they used to I remember uh, these being in the tutorial but yeah nobody fucking does this yeah because you have to leave you have to you have to do this in the middle of a in the middle of a fight which is really impractical that's why
Anyway. Back to the scurvy dog hideout. Hey, I think that was that guy fighting earlier. Let's go on to monkeys to passage. Fucking got ten Monkeeston ships for you, Captain Dan. Are you proud? Are you proud? Are you happy with me? See here, pirate. I've a bone to pick with you. What the fuck? If you'll recall, I once asked you to go down into the tunnels and drive back the monsters. Mm hmm. That was like ten minutes ago. Well, that was probably a little bit more than that, but yeah, I remember. I'd hoped you'd quiet things down, but you did nothing of the sort. The creatures are riled up worse than ever. Well, I did just fight a bunch of them. You were the one who heated them up, as it were, so it stands to reason you should cool them down. Go down there and finish the job, eh what? Eh hey, what? <laughs> yeah. It not be enough to fight them monsters, Captain, my Captain. We got to beat their leaders, then they go quiet. Good idea, old Scratch. Haven't you got those creatures in order yet? Get about your business, pirate. Go on about your business. Oh, fuck. Oh, almost, almost went right into a battle there. That was smart. Okay. Fight, Ekbe, Ekbe. Hey, buddy. Ekbe. I don't want to be culturally insensitive or anything. That name sounds like a noise that I would make upon upon vomiting. Let's see. Hey, what? I'll just Valor's armor. Hit. Move. Move. No. Move. At your command. Move. Yes, Captain. There we go. Command. 
brilliant. Wing Chun uses ancient Mushu magic to keep his head... <laughs> Wait, to keep his hat magically attached to his head. Yes. Ancient Mushu martial arts to uh, keep his hat on at all times. part about Valor's armor is that it doesn't have a cooldown or a uh, duration yeah its duration is the damage which is sick For that one, you frog. Yes, absolutely. Yes, slimy me, devil. Probably faster, honestly. Give a marker there. Oh, now I have to wait. Eki, eki, zip, boy! 
Tank. Hank, what's up? It's Hank. It's fucking Hank, dude. What's good? Hey, what? You've put them through the ringer, eh? Hopefully they'll stop making such a racket and storming my office here. Good, good. You've done well. Thank you, Captain. Good news. Your deeds have drawn the ire of the Brass Monkey. We just received this letter. of the cowardly fleet of Marleybone. <laughs> Your arrogance can no longer be born. I, Brasteo de Brass, greatest captain in these or any skies, challenge you to combat, ship to ship. Ooh. Excellent. Sounds easy. I await you in the Antilles Maelstrom. If you know the meaning of the word honor, and if you are no coward, come face me. Alone. Hmm. I mean, he could be setting me up for an ambush. That's what I would do. Good hunting. A final word. Sally mentioned someone named Gilbert. If you make it to Port Regal, he may know where she's gone. Okay. Thanks, Captain Dan. What now? <laughs> Haven't you got those creatures in order yet? Get about your business, pirate. I await you in the Antilles Maelstrom. If you know the meaning of the word honor, and if you are no coward, come face me. Alone. Good hunting. A final word. Sally mentioned someone named Gilbert. If you make it to Port Regal, he may know where she's gone. Well, luckily the uh, maelstrom just appeared right here. He did say challenge, challenge you to combat ship to ship, so I will be actually fighting a ship.
Loki versus Brass Jack. Let's go. El Pretension. Uh oh. Hello? So, this is the finest that Marleybone can pit against me? Ha! Prepare to learn the true meaning of defeat, ruffian. Wrap up if they're just gonna move like that. All right. <laughs> Don't know if he has four range or not. Cowardly. He had a clever setup on his ship, though. No! Treachery! Deceit! You cheat! You liar! You fiend! I curse your name! I will have my vengeance, pirate! I will have my vengeance! We'll see. Yeah, 
I'll take you to the... Blockade at Port Regal. Well, blockade for Port Regal, I guess. I'm either going to call this episode Desperately Seeking Sally, because I think that's what the chapter is called. Because that's, that's, that's a good title. Or I could call it The Brass Clash. You know? It's them clashing with the brass monkey. Hello there! Look what I have here. Wait, is it this guy? No, it's, I guess it's the guy up here. There now, you've captured the brass monkey. Well done! Take this little monkey to the governor in Port Regal for his just deserts. All right, we'll do. Port Regal pirate. This is where you can buy your uh, new ship. I definitely would. What level are these guys? A little bit higher, but not too much. Wait, what? Hold on. Charming Alita Silver, or Alia? Charming Alexis? Charming Alicia. So there's Alicia, Alexis, and Aaliyah. These are all the same person? Port Regal, hello! What ho! We turn in the monkey, yes? Then we find this Mr. Gilbert, Sally knows. Affirmative. figure head. That's awesome. Hello there. Ooh, a skiff. Marleybone skiff. Let's see. A little bit better. Although mine has higher damage. I think it's from the cannons. A be definitely better base health. I think it's about the same price, though, if I remember correctly. Let's see. I'll just go with all black, I think. Oh, here we go. Let's see. It's a skiff. 
So I don't want to have something too crazy. Adventure, Allegiance, Badger, Beacon, Military Bounty, Charger. That works. Endeavor. Hawk. <laughs> that sounds like something else. Um, light foot lightning. I want to find something better than Endeavor. Moth. I kind of like that. Dodgy moth. <laughs> I would. I would go with that. If I could have dodgy as a as an adjective, that'd be good. Dodgy moth. I like surprise. That's pretty good. Vixen. Wager. That's kind of cool. Wager. Let's see. Glorious. to say for me. Sovereign. I like that. Uh, but I want one for a skiff. You know. Sovereign would be like a galleon type name. Truant wager. Unbroken wager. That's cool. Upstart. Zealous. Mm. Kind of like Endeavor. Hasty Endeavor. There's also Jolly Hawk. Jolly Hawk. I think I've used that one before. Lively. The Regal Endeavor. I can name it Regal something since we're in Port Regal. Regal Rover. I kind of like that. Yeah, Regal Rover. I'll do that. <coughs> oh, jeepers. The fuel guy is all the way over here. Oh, I better refuel my other ships, too. Puerte Angela. Careless Venture. That's still a really good ship name. Soggy Troggy. Still the best ship name. The Regal Rover. Has good boost capacity. Let's see. Oh boy. I think I might as well get this uh, ship outfitted right away. I don't think I'll be heading back to Monquista anytime soon. 
No soldiers. I think I'll just leave a marker right here. Hello there. There's all kinds of uh, quests available. Hello there. My crew and I are preparing to set sail, but before we depart, I need to look over the Monquistador's Skyway map. <laughs> right. Food for the crew? Of course we need food. Bananas from Monquistador ships and coconut water from water mole canoes will keep my crew free of scurvy. Right. You've never heard of scurvy? Well, let me tell you, it's a terrible disease. Bring the food back quickly, and I'll pay you upon delivery. Did you gather the food stores I asked for yet? There have been bouts of scurvy among my crew, and I can't afford to deal with the blasted disease. I have some coconut water right here. Yeah. Yes? Wait. Don't coconuts have milk? Or is that like a is that a dumb question? Mrs. Phipps. All right. The hope and anchor. You can talk to talk to Mr. Flinch. Here, I'll review this dialogue from Ratbeard's promo quest. Captain, I reckon I know who killed me old crew. I'll tell you in a tavern cellar. Tavern cellar. <laughs> <laughs> Captain, I think I know who switched me knockout drops with poison and killed Lasco and me crew. The frog who made that potion and sold it to me was the only one who could have done it. Not one other had the chance. I know just where I can find him. We needs to go to Port Regal. Ratbeard, this is, um, unexpected. No, it's good to see you. Um, if you're here for the goldfish, they're long gone. N knockout drops? Poison? <laughs> goldfish? Flinch! He was the one who switched those drops. Why? Answer me quick, or else there'll be a special on frog's legs tonight. Damn. Chill it, Ratbeard. I wouldn't go so far as to cut off people's legs. It was foul. Captain Foul. He knew if word got out that you'd poisoned your crew, there wasn't a garbage scow in Skull Island that have you. Well, he was wrong. Foul! He took me leg, killed me father, burned me house, and stole me parrot. I've schemed me whole life to find a way to make that villain pay. He doesn't sound like a very nice guy. You want to find Captain Fowl? Um, go to Reston Warehouse. His crew's been seen coming and going from that place at all hours. He's sure to be there. Thanks, Frog. Hey, Tim and Perry. Say, pirate, you look familiar. Have we met before? Ah, right, you saved our instruments from the cutthroats. Good to see you again, kid. Yeah, likewise. After you left, Perry and I decided that music is not our true calling. Turns out stage magic is much more profitable. Hmm. 
Wait. Didn't you say that... Hmm. Weren't you magicians before? Wizards! No, we're not wizards! We're entertainers! Humble stage magicians just trying to earn our way! We're in a bit of a pickle. Nah, who isn't? Our props are missing. We need invisible thread from water moles and a Monkeeston deck of cards. Can you find them for us? Of course. You are going to get some magic supplies for our act. You're not backing out, are you? Invisible thread and a deck of cards. That's all we need. All right, I'll fight them too. Bleach. Oh. Yo, we there. Greetings, pirate. I'm an architect here in Port Regal. I've helped plan countless structures. In fact, I've become something of a celebrity. No, oh. autograph. But I've found myself a bit out of sorts lately. All because of those pesky monkeys to doors. They stole my secret stash of blueprints. And these monkeys they have everything. You look tough enough to take down the monkeys to doors. Are you interested in facing the chaos in Port Regal Skyway and rescuing my blueprints? Uh, they really want you to fight these monkeys and ships. Yeah, I can help you. Did you hear that noise? What the heck? Oh, that's a church. Yeah, they're singing in it. A shopkeeper is waiting for me to start planning out his new storefront. Please hurry and get my blueprints. Is that what that is? Hold on. Governor's office is there. uncanny back here. Uh, recording's getting a little long, so I'll do I'll do Rapbeard's thing uh, later. But I'll I'll take a walk around and pick up the other side quests. I think I'll turn in the uh, brass monkey in the next recording. Parakeets and flying fish must be stirring up all the debris in the skyway. I 
I'm just miserable lately. If I'm not coughing, I'm sneezing. I know I'd find relief if someone would rid Port Regal Skyway of scarecates and flying fish. Could you get the job done? I bet the offer of gold would pique your interest. Mm-hmm. You'd be right. My head is killing me, and I'm about to lose my temper. If I were you, I'd be on my way to face the scarecates and flying fish. All right, I'm looking at the this quest on the wiki. My head is killing me, and I'm about to lose my temper. If I were you, I'd be on my way to face the scarecates and flying fish. Housing vendor. Cool gun. It's a nice town. What's in here? Fort Regal Taylors. Jack Bull. <laughs> Happy Dasher. What ho! Exotic treasures. Mr. Collier. My son, Zachary, fell from the treetops today and broke his leg. I've told him time and time again to stay out of trees, but he never listens. Hmm. Wait, he broke his leg? Jeez. That's rough. Gather me wooden boards from the Skyway. Rolls of gauze from Monquistadors, and talents from Scarakeet so I can make a splint for Zachary's leg. Okay. Hey, what do you need the talons for? Yeah. I'll do it for you. Go quickly! Gather the supplies! I need to get Zachary's leg in a splint as fast as possible. Quest, quest log.
I mean, I could probably just um, finish all these side quests now. Yeah, I might start a stream of me fighting all these. Because I've looked on the wiki and I don't think there are any other quests that do these objectives. So yeah. I'll do that. Mm. Yeah. I guess to top off the episode, since um, it's almost three hours, I'll uh, I'll do this Captain Fowl thing. Or no, maybe I should return the guy. Nah, no, I'll go to Captain Fowl. Voices, yeah. Someone is here. <gasps> Foul! At last. Let's go get him. Ratbeard's promotion quest is long. I'm guessing Ratbeard will probably get a movement upgrade from this promotion as well, because that's what happened to that's what happened to uh, Rodolfo Capafero. Did I upload that video yet? Upload video. Musketeer farming two. I 
what he promotes, I would give Ratbeard Bladestorm 2. Give him some extra extra chaining potential. Not a lot, but Too late. The captain's gone down to the sewers to meet an important boyer. Let me go and I'll tell you where. All right. The sewers. He's gone to the sewers. All right, I'll leave it on the cliffhanger. See you in the next one.